Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Home Cooking Hunter. This is the first episode of my home processing series of taking you from field to freezer. Uh, what I've got, I have a doe here that I shot this morning, and I'm gonna show you all who are new to hunting how to field dress a doe properly. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but this is the way I was taught, and it works really well. If you're wondering what this knife is, this is a Bubba Blade. Uh, they make a lot of processing knives, but they also make a lot of great field knives as well. And today, this is what I'm gonna be using. So let's come on in here, and let's get started on this dough. So what you wanna do, is I like to start down here in the crotch area, pull up the skin up tight, and make a small incision. Once you get that incision, you take your thumb, or anything you can, to pull the fur up and the skin, separating it from the muscle here, and start working your way up. Okay, so now you can see we've got this a little bit separated. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna work my way down. Cutting through the crease here, for lack of better words, to the butthole. Exposing those rear hams at the bottom. Then, once we get enough pulled here where we can get a good tight grip, that's when we're going to puncture the inner wall here. You want to be really easy when you're doing this right here because if you puncture the stomach or the intestinal wall, you can have quite the mess on your hands. You can get in there with your fingers and separate it out. You can see where the gut's starting to come through here. Now you want to take your fingers. Remember, when doing this, it's very meticulous. Take your time until you get a big enough area to start working with. I'm getting my hand in there using my two pointer and middle finger to press all this, all the guts and stomach down as I go. And for the video, I am going a little bit slower than I normally would. So once you see right here, this is the stomach. I have my hand on the stomach. It's the biggest part, feels like a big balloon. I'm gonna press that down, get it out of the way so we don't puncture it. Now, once you get up to about midway, you're gonna hit a, a tough spot. That's where the rib cage starts, right in here. You're gonna wanna want really break this through with your knife. That's why a good sharp knife is good to have. And I'm gonna try my best not to cut Wildcat Matt. All right. Now normally, I would not cut this deer up this high. I'd stop somewhere right in here, but I'm cutting her up a little bit higher so I can show you guys what's going on the inside. So once I spread it apart here, <clears throat> I know it's a little gross, but I got a nice heart shot on this dough. You see this membrane wall right here? You wanna go ahead and cut down this little wall of flesh right there on both sides. That's what's gonna hold these, hold the innards from slipping out. So once you get that cut down, you want to reach up in here, past the heart, as far up to the neck as you can get, come a little closer. And you can see, I have my hand right here, the esophagus. You wanna get that as far up as you can, and just cut that loose. Once you do that, reach underneath and begin to pull all of it out. And boom, there's your gut pile. Now, there's one other thing you wanna remember when you pull all this out, come back over in here. If you have a good saw, because right here, you're gonna have some residual intestine that could have some feces or something like that in it, some poop. Um, you can get your, if you know you're gonna quarter this deer up immediately or soon, you can just reach in there, cut as much out and be done with it. If you're not, you're gonna wanna get a, a bone saw and cut through this brisket bone right here and break her down in order to get all that out. They also make some tools called butt out 
that uh, help remove this inner intestine. But I'm about to take her home and take care of business, so I'm just going to scoop as much of this out as I possibly can. That I don't have a saw. All right, guys. Thank you all. Uh, I'll see you for the skinning and quartering process. And uh, that is how you field dress a whitetail.